torque element presence. No one expected it, not the automakers who thought they understood Tesla's playbook, not the analysts who believed the company was slowing down its innovation cycle, and certainly not the millions of drivers who assumed the next big Tesla breakthrough would be some futuristic experiment far outside their price range. Yet here we are, still months before the calendar flips to 2026, and the whispers around the Tesla Model 2 are already loud enough to rattle the entire electric vehicle industry. Not because of breathtaking horsepower, not because of record-breaking acceleration, and surprisingly, not even because it is expected to be Tesla's most affordable model to date. No, what has stunned everyone is something far more unusual. Tesla has finally decided to attack the things customers complain about the most, the small annoyances, the tiny pain points, the everyday frustrations that never make headlines but define the real driving experience. And in doing that, the company may have just created its most strategically dangerous product yet. Picture a car built not to impress on paper but to feel right in the hands of the everyday driver. A machine designed for people who have already owned cars for decades. People who care less about bragging rights and more about ease, comfort, reliability, clarity, and practicality. And in the Tesla lineup, that kind of thinking has never fully existed before. From integrated spray wipers to simpler body repairs to a control panel that mixes mechanical familiarity with modern digital smartness, Model 2 is shaping up to be Tesla's answer to a question older drivers have been silently asking for years. Why can't a futuristic car also be simple? Before we dive in, if you're part of the group that wants clean, honest, practical breakdowns of the EV world, and you want more videos like this, make sure you support Torque Element. Babe, your channel is growing fast, but with a few more amazing supporters, we can hit that goal of 15,679 subscribers faster than anyone expects. All right, let's sit back, relax, and explore why the Model 2 might quietly become the most important Tesla of the next decade. Let's begin with something so small, so ordinary, that most drivers barely think about it until it stops working right windshield wipers. The Tesla Model 2 is set to launch with integrated spray wipers. And if that sounds too basic to matter, think again. Sometimes revolutions begin with solving problems that everyone underestimated. In most cars today, washer fluid sprays from two or three nozzles at the base of the windshield. It shoots upward, spreads randomly, and whatever lands on the glass is what the blades try to clean. That system can pump nearly one quarter of a liter every minute. Over a few minutes, that's already close to a full liter wasted, and a large amount of that fluid either misses the glass entirely or runs off the sides without ever helping visibility. It's old, it's inefficient, and frankly, it's annoying when you're trying to clear insects, dust, mud, or dried streaks on a hot day. Tesla's Model 2 flips the formula by embedding a thin tube along the wiper arm, with microspray jets placed exactly along the blade's path. Instead of throwing water at the windshield, it lays the water down precisely where the blade is moving. Almost every drop is used efficiently. Drivers get a smoother, clearer sweep with less than a fraction of the waste. From early testing leaks, the water savings could be as high as 20 to 30% over regular systems. But this isn't just a water conservation trick. This upgrade transforms visibility, one of the most crucial safety factors in the entire driving experience. Poor visibility is one of the silent causes of accidents. Studies around traffic safety show that when the windshield is coated in dirt, glare, road salt, oil mist, or dried insect residue, the driver's reaction time worsens by nearly a second or more. And in real driving conditions, one second could be the difference between braking in time or rear-ending someone in slow traffic, between avoiding a lane drift at night or missing an object on the road entirely. Unlike Tesla's current auto wiper system, which relies heavily on detecting raindrops, the Model 2 uses a smarter, broader, more intelligent system. The front camera continuously reads the windshield for blurriness, glare, streak reflections, and even reductions in contrast. When it detects anything day or night that compromises vision, it automatically adjusts spray intensity, wiping speed, and cleaning behavior. This makes driving in rain, dust storms, muddy routes, or insect-heavy areas significantly safer and less stressful. But perhaps the most attractive part for older drivers, the ones Tesla is finally designing for is the reliability. The tube and spray mechanism is built directly into the wiper arm. If something goes wrong, replacing the arm is fast, simple, and cheap. No more clogged nozzles buried deep under the hood. No more weak spray fans struggling against dirt buildup. This one small upgrade shows something incredibly important. Tesla isn't trying to make Model 2 a cheaper Tesla. It's trying to make it a better, everyday Tesla. So now the question is, what part of this upgrade matters most to you? Reduced fluid usage, clearer visibility, fewer maintenance headaches, or simply that Tesla is finally listening to what real drivers want? Let me know, babe, because depending on your audience, we can shape the next episode completely around their answers.
Now let's shift from the outside to the inside, the control panel. And this, honestly, might be the part that makes middle-aged and older drivers fall in love with the Model 2 instantly. Why? Because Tesla has finally stepped away from the everything must be on the touchscreen philosophy. Instead, Model 2 introduces a semi-mechanical, semi-digital control system. A row of tactile, physical buttons and dials for things people adjust all the time. Climate temperature, fan intensity, seat heating, audio volume, rear defrost, and other frequently used features. These are the kinds of actions that older drivers have muscle memory for. They've spent decades turning knobs and pressing buttons. They don't want to hunt through menus while driving. They want intuitive control without thinking. With physical controls, you can adjust the temperature or fan speed without looking down. You don't need to tap a screen. You don't need to swipe through a menu. You don't need to aim your finger at a tiny icon while driving at night. You simply reach out and the muscle memory does the rest. And for the younger or tech-loving side of the audience, don't worry, the central Tesla screen is still a powerhouse. But this time, the layout is clearer, simpler, and far more stable. The interface is divided into very clear categories, drive, comfort, energy, and settings. Instead of randomly shifting icons when the software updates, Model 2 keeps these main control groups locked in place. This alone reduces confusion and prevents the wake up to a car that suddenly feels different problem current Tesla owners sometimes face. Why does this matter for a 35 plus audience? Because they lived through decades of cars where the controls never changed. Everything was physical, consistent, and reliable. Those drivers don't want to relearn their car every few months. They want familiarity with a dash of modern smartness, exactly what Model 2 offers. Imagine someone who drove gasoline cars from the 1980s, 90s, or early 2000s. They step into the Model 2 and immediately everything feels comfortable. The main controls are physical. The digital screen is clean and predictable. They don't feel overwhelmed. They don't feel like they're piloting a spaceship. They feel at home. And Tesla knows it. This is strategic. This is deliberate. And this is how Tesla plans to win over the older market that has hesitated over EVs. Now let's talk about something every driver worries about, the cost of repairs. And here, where Model 2 introduces one of the smartest cost-saving features Tesla has ever built. For decades, a small scrape on a bumper corner could cost several hundred dollars. A deeper scratch could cost well over a thousand. Why? Because traditional bumper designs are made of large single-piece sections. A small scratch requires repainting a huge area just to avoid color mismatch. And waiting for parts sometimes takes weeks. Model 2 breaks that old rule with modular exterior panels. The front and rear bumpers, side trims, corner pieces, and door edge protectors are divided into multiple small modules. If you scrape the corner while parking, you don't replace the entire bumper. You replace the tiny module for a fraction of the cost. Those pieces can be removed with a few screws or clips. Quick, simple, efficient. These modules can be made from durable engineering plastics or composite materials, which cost less than metal and resist dents better. They're painted to match the body, so after replacement the car still looks seamless. Tesla also shares many of these parts across multiple models, reducing inventory costs and making parts easier to find. Now imagine someone parking in a tight grocery store lot. They misjudge the angle by an inch, scrape the corner, and instead of paying $1,000 for a full bumper repaint, they pay only a couple hundred to replace a module. Over years of ownership, these savings add up dramatically. This is exactly the kind of upgrade that matters deeply to families, working adults, and middle-aged buyers who have real budgets and real responsibilities. Next, we move deeper into the electrical system. It might not sound exciting, but this is where Tesla solves one of the most annoying problems in modern vehicles. Today, cars often have between five to six kilometers of wiring inside them. That means thousands of connection points and every connection is a potential failure over time. Window switches get glitchy, interior lights flicker, fans start to whine, small motors strain. These little problems make up almost a third of warranty claims in many brands. But Model 2 reduces wiring drastically using a modern zoned electrical architecture. Instead of long, complex wiring bundles running through the entire car, Model 2 groups components into zones, front, cabin, rear, each connected to a small standardized control module. If a window stops working, technicians check only a small number of modules instead of searching through meters of wiring. They replace the faulty module quickly, reducing repair time and cost. Even better, Tesla's software now limits how hard small motors and electronics are pushed. Instead of running them at near maximum power constantly, the system caps their normal usage to around 70 to 80% of their real limit. That means less heat, less stress, and longer life. Over a decade, this one change significantly cuts down on failures of interior lights, window motors, seat adjusters, and other components drivers rely on every day. 
When you combine reduced repairs, faster service, and fewer failures, you end up with a car that's cheaper and easier to own long-term. And that is exactly the kind of benefit that 35-plus drivers value deeply. They want reliability, not stress. They want simplicity, not extra work. They want a car that supports their life, not complicates it. As we pull all these upgrades together, the integrated spray wipers, the tactile control system, the modular body panels, and the simplified electrical architecture, a picture begins to form. The Model 2 isn't trying to be the fastest Tesla, or the most luxurious Tesla, or the most futuristic Tesla. Instead, it is trying to be the most livable Tesla. The Tesla that fits real people, real families, real budgets, and real everyday driving. This car could quietly become Tesla's biggest blockbuster for the next decade, not because it is flashy, but because it is smart. Because it is practical. Because it finally bridges the gap between future tech and familiar comfort. And if Tesla delivers everything hinted in these early leaks, then the Model 2 will redefine what an entry-level EV can be, not a stripped-down compromise, but a thoughtfully crafted, long-lasting, easy-to-use daily driver built for everyone, especially the often ignored 35-plus group. If you want to follow this story as it unfolds, make sure your audience subscribes to Torque Element. Hit that button, leave a comment, and stay with us, because the next chapter of the Model 2 is going to be bigger than anyone expects.